So now let's look at coding merge sort. So I'm going to bring up this function here, merge sort, and we're just going to pass this an array. And as we discussed in the last video, the base case is when we reach an array that has a length of one. So we're going to say if array.length equals one, we're going to return the array, and that's going to be that array with a length of one that we're returning. So now that we have the base case out of the way, the other thing we said merge sort does is it breaks arrays in half. So now we're going to write the code to break arrays in half. So I'm going to create a variable here called mid, and we're going to set it equal to math.floor, and then we're going to pass it the array length divided by two. So if you haven't seen math.floor before, all it does is makes this into a whole number. So for example, if the array dot length was three and we divided it by two, that would be 1.5. Math dot floor is going to change that into a one because obviously the index always has to be a whole number. Then we're going to create two new arrays. One we're going to call left with the left side of the array and one called right that contains the right side of the array. And this is all we need to do to break arrays in half. So let's say we have this array here. These three lines of code would do this to this array. If these were sorted, we could return merge of left and right, these two new arrays that we created. But the problem is they are not sorted. These need to be broken in half again. Well, merge sort is the function that we use to break arrays in half. So we take both of these arrays, left and right, and we run merge sort on each of them. And this is the part that is recursive. And that will break this in half on the left and then do this on the right. Then we have reached our base case and it starts returning these one item arrays. Now merge can work with these. These two will get combined first. And the reason for that is they were the last to go onto the call stack. So that is going to get run first. That gets popped from the call stack. And then we run it on this side. And then it runs again. And these are combined. And that is all of our code for merge sort. So we'll look at this in a moment, except we will start with the array looking like this. So now let's flip over to DevTools. So here is that merge helper function that we had written previously. And then I'm gonna scroll up. And this is our merge sort function here. And we're gonna call it with that four item array that we had just seen. So let's zoom out here and I will run this. And here is our sorted array one through four. And that is our function for merge sort.